Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Lex Gamma and today we're going to be continuing with Witch Wood. Um, when we last left off, we entered a new quest that made it very clear we were going to have to do a lot of fetching. A lot of fetching gathering. Uh, but before we get started with that, please do remember to check out Tears of a Dragon Awakening on iUniverse.com. That's small I big U. You can also get it on Barnes & Noble and Amazon. If you'd like a signed copy, you can reach out to me on my social media, Instagram or Twitter. Um, and now, let us get started. Let us become the start. We are nearing, I do feel. Oh, look at you, Mr. Ghosty Boasty. We are nearing, I do feel. If I could remember what my buttons did. Uh, the end of this game. We got a couple quests to go. No, I think we might have four after this. Let's see, how many have we done total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I don't know if there were twelve or sixteen, but there were sets. It was sets of four. So we'll find out. Um, what are we doing right now? Four sign pig effigy, which ended up needing a lot of stuff. We luckily have that. So we need some wicker work. Okay, easy. This thing requires things. Uh, so we can get these from the graveyard. So let's go do that. G. Yeah. Um, a little little bird. Graveyard. Meow! Yes, you're so precious! Meow meow! That precious kitty! Yes, you are. Okay, graveyard. 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 Okay. So. I think we need embalmed, like, spirit salts, yeah. Do I have any on me? Perchmance? No. Spirit smalts. Spirit smalts. I need to make this to get the spirit smalts. Kidding! Yes, give me your, um, goop. And I need ectoplasm. And I don't really know who I get that from. Let's make just one more of these. Excuse you. Yeah, not him. You? No, that's a soothing room. Ghostly ectoplasm. So maybe I do get it from I need a soothing room. I thought I got the tear. Antlered ghost. Uh he needs this. So I need bat wings. And I think the bats respond to bait sticks. So I'll make two, and I'll pop one here, and I'll pop one here, and I will tell you to mind your fucking business. <sighs> all that. Why are you walking over here? Go away. Okay, we got some blood. Oh, there's the wing. Why is it over there? I only get one wing from that bat. Okay. Um, well, there was one wing in that. Okay, let's... I don't remember who you get ectoplasm from, but let's see if it works. There we go. Ooh, two. For the price of one. Very good. 
Um, and now we need to make a dripping ball, which means I need one of these. Which means I have to go into the fucking swamp to get one of these. There's just so much to do. Just so much to do. So much to do. But that's fine, because you know, while we're here, we'll get more of those um, swirly things. Those curly things. And we'll get some more meshies. And uh, a snail shell that, you know, I still haven't used these snails at all. In the slightest. In the slightest, I say. Just take that. Nope, mind your fucking mess! How did you hit me from over there? That's terrible. Any, but I think, do I, no, do I need the mosquito things or do I need a skeeter snoot? So I guess I need the mosquitoes. Yeah, I need a smoke pellet. I need this. What am I lacking? Clay or something. Okay. I need some skeeter snoots. Some skeeter sneeters. Let's uh, just get some of these while we're here. Since these actually are used in a lot of the stuff that we've been making lately. No. Cease. Cease! Let's definitely grab more of these, because we've used a lot of them lately. Come here, little snail man. I don't know what you're used for, but I'm sure one day we'll find out. Come here, froggies. Definitely need the frog juice. Definitely need frog juice. All the time, frog juice. And more of these because they're very useful. Wow, that was a lot actually. Hello. And uh, sure, why not? And we'll make a we'll make a little circle. We'll come back around. But for right now, we'll uh skeeter manita. Mr. Snail, I don't know what use you could possibly be to me. But I do love collecting you. Okay? Thank you. Snip. 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 Come here! Come here, you Nikki. Icky, icky. No, stay away from me, you loser. Okay, I should have enough stuff to make at least one. Now I must lure them. If there is more than one, I must lure them. Come here, my love. Follow me. Follow me. I will get two for the price of one. Follow me, my love. Follow me! Yes! Yeah, you must die to your hubris. So many Skeeter Snoop Manoops. Yep, I'm, we're definitely gonna deal with you at some point, right? It feels inevitable. Give me your juice. Thank you. Mind your fucking business. Mind your fucking business. You're so annoying. I hope you know. Okay. Let me make one of these. And then we make one of these. And then we make one of these. And now we make pig. No. Cease. Cease, I say. Cease. Stop it! Go into the tree. Thank you. Okay, where were we? The market? I have the piggy. 
I'm yes, I know, meow. Hello, Fantacorn. Mm, but excuse me, I swear I have a lip piggy. I have a lip piggy. First, I'll have to fashion the proper container. A feast need not be flesh and blood if the spirit is hungry. Poor sign, effigy. You said the tiny false creature amongst the ashes of the cooking pit. It wriggles and squeals with impotent hunger. Now to fatten up this little piggy. I'll start with the smallest pig sister, but I'll need to collect something special to bind her spirit. Oh my god, we're committing ritual sacrifice. Small pig switch her broom. The small pig is over by the farm, right? Yes, Bessie, I believe you. Such a good Bessie. Such a good Bessie. You're not small pig. Where is small pig? Where is small pig? There's small pig. Give me your legs, child. Let me cut you. You can hear the runty swine squealing even before you see her. Holding her crop high, she busies herself admonishing a cluster of poor workers. I have no clue how I did the voices. For the pigs, I don't remember. We're gonna do our best. <coughs> I will feed your useless rust. I mean, I Ooh, that was tough. Yeah, filthy mongrels. Do we pay you to work or sleep? <sighs> they recoil from their taskmaster's lashes. You don't pay us at all. Say that. You seem to have gotten an awful lot of use from that grotty old switch. What would you say to a trade? What? A trade? I've had this whip ever since I was a wee suckling. No way, no how am I giving up my precious little flog. <gasps> Lashmaster 2000! <laughs> what in God's name? I need a pumpkin jack bone. Are you kidding me? I hate pumpkin jacks. I have to use so much material just to make one thing <laughs> to get a pumpkin jack bone. It's ridiculous. And it's this thing, which means I have to use my other Skeeter Snoot. Ugh. My Skeeter Snoot. Hey, big pig. You're big, big, big pig. Biggie, biggie, piggy. Biggie, 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 piggy. Ah, yeah! Do 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 little goosey goo do 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 not mind me I'm just paving your roads Okay So I need to go to the Fmields Fmields that's where the pumpkin jack of blacks are Let's go, ladies. Oh, hello! Give me your legs! Give me your legs. Your legs. Thank you. Give me your legs. Thank you. Can I get more than one, maybe? Shut up. Can I get more than one pumpkin jack bone? Perhaps. Yeah, come here. I want two of you. I will lure you. Oh, oh shit, nope, it only worked on the one, oh my god. Yeah! Why can't I just have, like, a better... <laughs> like, why can't I just have a better, um... Yeah, the gnome's puzzle box, a natural tinkerer but stubbornly refuses to read any instruction manuals. That's... New. I've just been snipping their hats off. Okay. Yeah, take a look, my man. Isn't that so fun? I'm sorry. They did the exact same thing. I can either puzzle box them and waste ingredients, or I can snip them 
You know, something tells me you might- you're probably not supposed to be able to sniff them, and maybe this is bugged, but I can sniff them. <sighs> now I don't have any skeeter snoots. A single pumpkin jack bone for my troubles. I need two skeeter snoots! Oh, God damn it! I need two skeeter snoots. You shut up. Go away. You're so annoying. I need two skeeter snoots in the first place. I needed two skeeter snoots. Now I have to go back to the swamp again. Make more of the whatever they are. I don't know. Smoke pellets. I have enough. I can get two. I can get extra skeeter snoots this time. Extra skeeters for the price of meters. Hello, little skeets. I have come to collect your bones. Hope oh, you don't mind. Hope that's not offensive to you. Okay. We've got two skeets in close proximity. Good. Two skeets for the price of one. Let's see if we can do that elsewhere. Mind your business. Can I get two more skeets for the price of one skeet? I would appreciate it. You're not skeets. But it's nice coming back here too, I guess, because we get to prompt ourselves to fill up on items that we might need. Like these. These are going very quickly nowadays. The snail shells that I've never used, but maybe one day. Clay, obviously. Alright, any skeets? Yeah, there's a skeet. Come here, skeet. Is there another skeet around here? Or is it just you? Looks like it's just you. Skeet! Alright, perfect. We've skeeted our way out. Why not? Thank you. It's like, I know I can. Go snip. Go pick it up. Perfect. Yes, Mr. Frog, I totally agree. what I get from them. Like, I know an eyeball, I think, but uh, nothing else really that was of any particular use, I don't believe. You mind your business. I don't even remember what I get from you, but it wasn't that great. Where's the snail shell? Thank you. Pick up more of these. These are coming in handy lately. Can I make any more smoke pellets? Yeah. Let's just get all the skeets. One big skeet trip. And just, you know, collect the clay. Clay galore. Alright, so what did we need? Okay, cool. I've got enough skeets. Enough skeeter man eaters. No, go inside. You know what? Here, fine. Go get that. Now, go in the tree. Thank you. And back to the marketplace. Okay, press it. My bad. And take that. Yes! I know what a good kitty you are. And let's take this out because we're going to rob people's highway again. Just in case we need any of this later. Oh, another one. There was something I saw. Yeah, Bessie. You're doing such a good job, Bessie. Such a good cow. Alright. Mmm, little piggy wiggy, I have brought you a fun new toy. You will be so- I hear you. I hear you squealing in excitement. You will be so happy when you see it. It's the best thing in the whole 
world. Come here. What? Yeah. A trade? I give you Lashmaster 2000. It, is that a Lashmaster 2000? With extra stinging barbs and a rawhide non slip grip? The one and only. I thought you were doing such an excellent job keeping these poor exploited souls under your hoof that you deserved a reward. She snatches the whip out of your hand with glee, tossing her old straw lash in the mud without a second glance. Not even saying thank you, she scampers off to test out her newly acquired motivational tool on unsuspecting farm workers. With any luck, she won't have much time to put it to use. Look at her go! Look at her go! Look at her go! <laughs> That's funny. It's a little horrible, but it's funny. Okay. Yes, Bessie. I believe you, Bessie. I believe you. So much, I believe you. Yeah, Mr. Porcine. I bring you switch. You feed the ratty straw whip into the mouth of the porcine effigy. Despite the thing not having any teeth, you distinctly hear the sound of crunching as it chews up its first meal. The effigy shudders and swells in size, becoming a healthy-sized piglet made of straw. Oh, it's big! One down, two to go. For this feast to go off without a hitch, I'll need to gather something important from that swinish middle sister. Tall Pig's Club. Look at you! You're so big now! Oh, that's so great! Look how big you become. That's so great. Oh, money. I take money. Thank you. I forgot what you do to the rats. Snap trick. We don't care about you. Not right now, anyway. That's not supposed to be like that, is it? Maybe they are. No, they're supposed to be solid like this, but they got lines to them. They didn't load properly. Mmm, little sister piggy. I have come looking for you. Hey, you. You're the one who gave my little sister that souped up whip, ain't ya? Well, I do twice as much work as that stinking twerp. <laughs> this old bean stick has served me well these long years. But if she gets an upgrade, then why shouldn't I? Magnum brow beater. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Okay. Uh, I need one of these. You're so lucky I actually have the material to make that right now. Oh my god. Okay, so I need big stick. You're so lucky that I have just hoarded the materials to make this stuff. I give you Magnum Browbeater! The sow takes a few test swings with a new Kujal. Cuddle? Making you duck for safety. Aha! Uh -huh. Now that's more like it. Solid build, perfect balance. <laughs> you won't be needing that cracked old stick anymore. I'll just take it off your hands. Oh? Sure, whatever. It's as good as firewood now. She ignores you and goes looking for the pine cones or small animals to take a swing at. Take it. Look at her. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Do, do. Yeah, yes, Bassy, I believe you. I believe you, Bassy. You're so right, Bassy. You are okay, just stay put. Tall Pigs Club. You chop up the well weathered cudgel into bite sized pieces and offer them to the small effigy. It wastes no time gobbling up the bits of wood and crunching them to splinters. Oh my god, it got big! Satisfied with its second meal of sticks, the stimulated pig rumbles and once again grows in size. This ham is almost ready for dinner. It just needs one more helping of soul food. Something special from that brutish butcher will be the last ingredient I need. Big Pig's Whetstone. Look how big you are! My biggy piggy wiggy. Hello, it is me, I am coming. Hello, Big Pig. You see the enormous swine hacking apart a haunch of meat with her cleaver. Its dull and chipped blade has clearly seen better days. She sneezes heavily before wiping a glob of snot with the back of her hand. You again. What do you want now? As your dutiful employee, I've been taking it upon myself to improve your meat business. That whetstone of yours looks like it's not doing a great job of keeping your tools sharp. She raises an eyebrow at the worn slab of a grindstone sitting on the countertop. Oh, uh, I suppose it might be time to replace the old girl. <laughs> Just think of how much more brutal you could be with a brand new sharpener. 
Magisharp XL. Wow! We still have things we have not uncovered and it's disturbing. Oh, that's what all the nomads are for! I need a rabbit foot! I need a no I need a turkey gizzard stone. Good for you, I can make that. Okay, I need one rabbit foot. I need a turkey schmizzard gizzard schnizzard, and I need one more cobblestone. So let's do the turkey first. Cause that's one and done, easy. Yeah, gross with that. Uh, okay, I need, I need, I need cobble. I need cobbledy hobbledy. There it is. Give me. Give me cobbledy hobbledy. Thank you. You want to give me another one just for, just for the sake of it? Thank you. Okay. So. To the fields! Okay, we're gonna get a turkey schmizzard gizzard wizard blizzard gizzard minizzard. Yes, Mr. Pro, I believe you. Okay. Do you want this? Take that. Eat it. Uh, what do I do? Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, now we go to mountain to get rabbit foot. Yes, Mr. Crow, I believe you. You're so beautiful. Look at how you fly. Okay, mountain. Mountain, 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 mountain! 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 Speak of the devil and he shall appear! It is a, a wolf! And a wolf! A wolf! Oh damn, that's my last twig. I thought I picked up so many more twigs. What happened to all the twigs I picked up? Here, you take that. Hurry up before somebody else does. Alright, thank you for your patronage. I need a snowflake. I think you get them from the little, uh... From the little, uh... What's on this? I don't remember what they're called. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we go back. We give you the wisdom. We take your soul. So happy. Yes, good kitty. You're so right, kitty. You're so right. You know how right you are? So right. We need to. We need to get that. Hey, do you mind if I just, uh, do you mind, you do, you do mind, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna touch the chicken, do you mind if I touch the chicken? Ow! Sir, I was just trying to touch the chicken. Listen, give me the fucking egg. Thank you. Shit. Oh, look at this, I didn't even know this was here. That's cool. Sir, ma'am, ma'am, I have brought you your new and improved white stone. The sow slowly grinds the blade of her cleaver across the new whetstone, sending flecks of rust flying. She plucks a hair from her own chin and tests the keenness of the edge by splitting it in half. Ho ho! Not bad at all. Go on, take this old white stone thrown in the trash bin. It still looks like crap, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. If you're happy with the fact that it looks like crap, I will not dissuade you. Oh, Mr. Piggy, I bring you some food. You toss the old brick into the effigy's ravenous maw and it cracks it to dust within moments. Ooh, he's huge, wowzer. With its final meal of bricks, the poor sign simulacrum swells to monstrous proportions. A rattling laugh chills your blood as the old man's spirit looks upon your work. 
What a proper beggar's feast this is. I thank you for this kind gesture, but I still don't see how this will bring justice to those wretched swine. Just you wait. I have to fire up the barbecue first. Oh, a cinder box. A cinder box. The couple of- wait, I'm sorry, how many? You just need one, right? Good. Ah! What the fuck? Shut up. So icky. So icky. Mm -hmm. I am the moon mountain. So... We need fireflies, so going to the forest would probably be our best option here. Because it's got cinder boxes and fireflies. Was that all I needed? To make us in the box, yeah. Oh, and yes, grab all of this because we are completely out for some reason. Some um, reason. Yep, take that. Yep, get that stick. Let's see, dryads over there. Grab this. Uh huh. Very good. Very good. There's a little bitch over there. Okay, smack it. Take, 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 take. Take. Take, take. You actually got used for something for once. That was extremely impressive. No, Mr. Wolf, why would you? Mr. Wolf, please, we are supposed to be friends. Would you like some schmeat? I have some schmeat. Would the schmeat make you happy? Hmm? Maybe? Ah! Shit, I forgot about you. I'm only a hubris. Oh my god. I barely missed that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yes, give me. Thank you. You're such a pretty Barbie. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, we can get some from up here, can't we? Little soot man. I don't actually know what good you're for. I don't actually know. I don't even know if I've used you at all. You're such a good doggy. You bark at me, but you're a good doggy. You do a good job. You do a good job doing your job. You know? It's such a good job. You're still here. Almost vomiting. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Okay, grab this. This. Travel. This. And this. 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 And this. 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 And that. Perfect. We are getting so many things. And that. And now for the fairies and the fear fleas. I'm going to take all of you. I will spare no expense. Okay. Good. So we cleared that out. I should be able to make one now, right? I should have plenty of stuff. Yes. Very good. I am the cinder books. Uh, we're gonna do a quick little... Skiddly doo da, skiddly day. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful way. Up here. Just to make absolutely certain we've collected as much stuff as, as fucking possible. Um, yeah, like this, for example. Give me that. Are there any more medicinal schmerbs around here? No, there's an icky troll. That's the mountains, it'd be snowing, and Schmidt. Uh, some more icky trolls. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Yoke! Yoker, yoker, yoker! Stop making me use things! Like, I was literally just trying to collect some shiny rocks. Why'd you have to be so mean about it, huh? Yeah, no, come here, come here. Let me, let me lure you. Let me lure you away. Youch! 
I did not lure you successfully. Man, they really, like, they, when they get you, they get you. They get you good. Perhaps. Fucking thought, stupid bitch. You know what? It was worth it. In the end, it was worth it. I'm wasting all of the thingies that I gathered, but that's fine. And they're still going at it. Happy as can be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hear ya, I hear ya, but you know, we're gonna save it for now. Because I used to have a lot more of these things. These little foresty herby derbies. Okay, uh, yeah, pick that up. Uh, since when are you here? You need some excuse me? Okay, down we go. Maybe something has uh, respawned. Another fields. Any more herby derbies? Any more herbs lying in wait? For moi? Is that? Do I wanna? Do I wanna? Tempt the dryad? Yeah, he's fine. All right. So are there any? Okay, there's a stick. And there's that. Here's another one, good. Yeah, let's go ahead and make one, because the my heart thumping in my eardrums is a little a little beat. I don't really think we use these for much else. So let's make two. Put them down there. Oh, and there's one. Let's grab that. Mine! Cool, 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 cool. So, now we head back to the markets. The markets. So we can set some piggies, yeah. So we can set some piggy leggies on fire. On fire. Do 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 Big! Striking a spark into the pit, you set the tinder alight. You take a step back, watching the orange flames leap high into the air. The porcine effigy blackens as you tend the fire and fuss over the coals. A succulent aroma begins to waft on the wind. Mm, yes, pig. The old man licks his translucent lips hungrily. I swear, I can almost smell a delicious roast. Ah, uh, if only it were real. Over the sound of crackling logs, you hear a crowd of footsteps come paddling down the road towards the cooking pit. Over here! I knew I smelled something good! It's the others. My friends. You've come back. Eee! A ghost! No, wait, is... Is that old man McGraw? Say it ain't so, old timer. When you never showed up for the morning head count, we all feared the worst. It's true. I ended up as pig food. Can you believe that? I worried you would all face the same fate as me. However, did you... Escape the hog form. It was the strangest thing. The swine sisters stood and complained about the weather being too hot. Even though it's pretty chilly, if you ask me. All of a sudden, they bolted out into the woods, squealing all the way. Left the gate wide open and everything. Then we smelled something delightful in the breeze and couldn't resist. It's been so long since we had anything other than big slop. Gosh, that smells so good. It's a barbecue. Where did you get all that food? Oh my! It turned into real food. In place of the bricks, sticks, and straw, the porcine effigy has split into a mountain of delectable sizzling meats. Ham! Sausage! Bacon! It all looks so delicious! What a wonder. It truly is a feast. Thank you. What did I tell you? Enjoy yourself for a little while longer and be at peace. <gasps> watered beef stew? Beef stew's been watered. Thank you so much, Black Baldwin, for watering beef stew. The starving crowd happily helps themselves to the feast, cheering, laughing, and praising the old ghost's name. You see something twinkle amongst the cooling coals of the cooking pit. Uh, can I eat some of that? That looks great. 
Warm to the touch, you pick out a piece of greasy gristle from the soot. On closer inspection, it appears to be three separate chunks. One fat piece, one long piece, and one small piece. The souls of the pigs. We see gristle. The hog is complete! Wonderful. So now, what do we have? The hawk and the wolf. Let's do this one first. I'm gonna do the wolf. Find the barmaid in the village tavern. Um, no, there was not that. Where is the village tavern? That oh, we're in the market. We need to go to the village. How do we get to the village? That's the docks. That's the village. Here we go. This way. This way, ladies and gentlemen. You shut up. This way, ladies and gentlemen. Do, do, do. Yes, I'm so, yes, yes, you're so right. You're so right. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. Look at you with your little, with your little swoopy legs. When you walk, they go swoop, 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 swoop. And then you stop, and your nose is a little pointy nose, and it's so cute. And your tail is so tall. You have such a tall tail. And your legs go swoop, 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 swoop. And you're just so adorable. You are just so adorable. Look at how adorable you are. All right, where is this fetching tavern? There it is. The gargoyle's sitting on it. I should remember that. You. Man, his footsteps be thumping. Thumping, I tell you. Absolutely thumping. Red Riding Hood, my love. You see the maid's red hood poking out from behind a wooden barrel. Oh, it's just you. Thanks for helping me out back there. It was getting a little cramped. It's hard enough serving meat all day, but to have to deal with that slavering wolf, 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 a wolf or two. She's so cute. She got. She got. <laughs> he does seem like the relentless type. Are you alright? Just a bit rattled. I was ready to smash a tray over his snout if he got any closer. But I'm sure that would have landed me in hot water with the box. The wolf's turning over every table and barstool trying to sniff you out. Great. I guess I'll just head back there and then... Uh, reorganize the store or something. I admire your sense of self-preservation. But maybe there's a more permanent solution to this problem. I know a young huntsman looking to prove himself. Perhaps we can load the wolf outside and deal with him there. Sure, but how? You can count me out as bait because I'm done being dog fed. I doubt that mud can see very well in this dingy place. I might be able to fashion a convincing enough likeness to trick him. You iron your bike hook. That ought to make a good starting place. Well, whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. I'm losing out on tips. She has a point. It's very important. This old coat rack ought to serve as a solid frame. You won't need much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. So I can give you that. Key to my heart. Protective talisman. Oh, good lord. The two things in the world that are so difficult to make. Fetch questing begins again. It begins again. <laughs> Where's the fucking protected chest? Oh, ye oh, just, mmm, just, mmm, mmm. It's just, mmm. Yeah, I can do that. I can make that. That's that's a good start. That's a good start. I need moo milk. Do I have any? Uh... Yeah. Oh, Bessie! Bessie, I'm coming for you! Walk quieter, please. Oh, Bessie! Oh, Bessie, is, is Bessie in the town or is Bessie in the market? I think Bessie's in the market. 
Hindi ko good by si the market. Oh, Bessie, where are you? Come here, Bessie, I need your blue milk. I need some blue milk from you, Bessie. Did you have a good time? You're welcome. Bessie, come here, Bessie. Give me your blue milk. Thank you, Bessie. Anyway, now I'm making the green. Okay, so now I just need one of these, and I need the fur. Is there a dog in there? There is a dog in the graveyard. Yes, there is, and I actually need to go there for something else, so let's just hightail it on over. Let's just go. And not get stuck on the ice. Yes, you're so right, Suki. You're so right. Graveyard! Nope, that's the docks. I'm stupid. Graveyard. Okay, so, 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 the other thing I need is this man's head. And to do that, I am fairly certain. I am fairly certain the ice. I need the spirit song. I need that to make one of these. And then I need to make them one of these. Oh, don't I have spirits? I do! I'm so stupid, I wasted things. Nope. Oh, it's over there. I was like, where's his head? Give me his fucking head. Okay. Um, okay. Craft. Okay. And then uh, now I need this. Shit. God, it's a hex. Ah! A woofer. Where, where's a woofer? I have the sporific schmeats. I have this perfect schmeats for the schmoofer. A schmoofer! You want that? Yes. Now snip! You are a good doggy. You're, you're the only doggy that does not bark at me. That's why we love. Okay, good. We have protected talisman. Now we need to make this. So, first we need dryad fruit. Dryad fruit, we need Schminderbox. I know this for a fact. So, we go to forest and make a Schminderbox. We get the Dryad fruit. Ah! Yes, I hear you. Ah! Yes. Yes, you're so right, Mr. Ghost. You are so right. I totally agree with you. You know, I agree with you so much. You make very good points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, okay, actually, we come up here. You mind your business, Mr. Wolf. Okay. I am just here to get some nice, hot, warm coals. That's all. Mind your business, okay? You have a nice time humming there, like you do, you weirdo. Okay. Mm -hmm. I should have enough. I should have more than enough, actually. Yes. Should I get some fireflies? I might need them later. Will I need a cinder box after this? Who fucking knows? Anyway, let's go find a dryad. Where's the dryad? Here we go. Stupid fuck. When you're on there, you are you stupid motherfucker. He is so angry because he's only fire. All right, I have your fruit. Your fruit is mine, bitch. I need a deep one. It's the fish head. So now I need to go to the docks. I don't. Uh, actually, I think to get that, you have to make tidal tincture. Which means you have to get skipper scales. How do you get skipper scales? By getting skippers. Holy fucking shit. I need to make so much stuff. I swear to God! I need soothing rooms! I need spirit salts! I need this! Which means I need water! I'm fairly certain you can get water in the forest. 
from the well. From the well, Anna. From the well. You get it from the well. You can get so much water in the well. You don't have to come all the way out here to do this. But I'm here now, so let's just do it. And you know, while I'm here, I'll grab some chicken eggs. It's a win-win. Yep, eggs for everyone. Thank you so much. And what will I need the eggs for? Maybe I have to make scrambled eggs. You never know. Anyway, so I made that. Um... Um... Okay. This... In, into... Into... Fuck! Fuck! Gobble them! Gobble them! Oh my god, my thing. I need gobble them, please! I just need some gobble them! But you know, I knew it. I was like, let me, I should pick up more since I'm in here, and I did not do that. And now I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, shoot him. Okay, I need snipper, snipper, snipper snips. Snipper dee beeper bat. Do it, we go back to the docks. To the docks. I have to get these skippers please. Yeah, you're a, a weird little bird. Ah! Okay. You. Crab traps? We can get crab traps, right? Okay, we can get crab traps. Can I get more than one for this? I would like more than one for this. But we do get more barnacles, and that's good. Hell yeah, two skipper snips. Two two skipper skip bits. Okay, so now we have title function. We take the title function to this ugly man, and I get the book. Okay, so now I have a deep one, and I need to move this and make it with a deep one. And then I turn the deep one into a soup. And then I turn the soup into a key. And then... And then I go back, because that's what I need. <laughs> that... Mm, give me that. Mind your business. Okay. <laughs> so much fetching. So much fetching. Okay, and now we go back to the tavern. Back at all the Yes, Kitty. Where is it? It's this way. Oof. Yes, Kitty. Yeah. Why, why, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We've ended up needing these very often, actually. It's a bit strange. Hey, just, uh, just chill out, my man. You're at, you're like, you're getting too involved. I want to tell you, you need to calm down, buddy. Okay. Key to my heart. You tap the key and hear a lovely tone. This this will power the puppet's heart and give it a romantic allure. If this is to survive an attempt on the wolf, it will need all the magic assistance it can get. You place the last stitch against the mannequin's doll-like smile. Its plump head hangs against the cover. No livelier than a reed in the wind. Are you sure this will work? I know the wolf doesn't have the keenest eyes, but he's no fool either. You grin underneath your cauldron. Cauldron! And extend a gnarled finger towards the red hood hanging on the cook rack. It will work just fine. A hound relies on his sense of smell more than anything else. This spare coat of yours will complete the illusion. You throw a hood over the puppet's form and utter a dark curse beneath your breath. A great tremor passes through the building, shaking its foundation and making the lights flicker. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's so cute looking! <laughs> An eerie light fills the room, illuminating the puppet's body. Its head cocks ever so slightly to hold you in an unsettling gaze. It's... it's... This is a Frankenstein reference. It's alive! 
Take the puppet. I'd had better deploy this puppet out of the wolf's sight. This back room should do just fine. Then I'll simply walk it over to that salivating carnival and strike up a conversation. Deploy the puppets! <laughs> I'm the puppet! Walk, 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 walk. Walky, 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 walky. Walky, walky. You guide the puppet on its invisible strings and pop it into the wolf. Why would they do that with his tongue? Why would they- all that? What's going on? I just- why are they doing it? And then they give him these really broad shoulders and... I'm not a furry, I swear, okay, but it's just like... He's anthropomorphic, okay? Come back. What was his voice? I have no idea. I have no idea what his voice was! And <laughs> looking at him and trying to remember makes me feel so awkward! Stop! I cannot see! I can- I cannot look at him. I must hide. I must hide him. <clears throat> God, what was his voice? We're just, we're just gonna fudge it. We're just gonna totally fudge it, because all the other characters are dead now anyway. <clears throat> well, well, well. Look who's come back. I knew you couldn't hide from me forever. You contort the puppet in a flirtatious twist and blow a kiss from the doll's stretched lips. What do you say you and me get out of this stinking tavern, eh? I'll take you up to my place. Let you simmer in the earth. Moonlight. You do your best to make the puppet flutter its eyelashes seductively, but the lids get stuck halfway. Thankfully, the wolf is paying too much attention to his hunger to notice. Don't be shy now. I'll show you the night of your life. It'll be a real treat, I promise. They know what they're doing with him! The wolf caresses the doll's burlap cheek with a clawed finger, grinning from ear to ear. The puppet returns his affection with a vacant, button-eyed stare. I've just got to get a few things prepared. Meet my cabin in the dark with just no smoke. It's a very dangerous road, so don't think about running off. But don't worry, I'll be watching you every step of the way. You know, to make sure you're safe. He licks his chops enthusiastically. Lashing his bushy tail back and forth, the wolf struts out of the tavern as if he'd won a thousand gold coins. You pilot the doll back to the storeroom and it collapses into a bundle at your feet, ready for its next assignment. You did it! That wolf is finally out of my hair! Thank you so much! Maybe now I can finally get some work done around here. Hmm. But I didn't hear a gunshot from my brave huntsman. I best go see if his ambush went awry. Take care, my dear. But don't let the dogs keep you down. Oh, huntsman, did you did you get seduced by his long tongue? What happened? My man. The young hunter is practically shaking in his boots when you find him outside the tavern. I, I, I couldn't do it. I brought that wolf right to you, and you chickened out. What kind of hunter are you? D did you see him? He's huge and hairy. He gave one look at my little blunderbuss and howled with laughter. How am I even supposed to scratch that monster with this puny pop gun? Sounds like you need some better ammo. As I recall, wolves have a particular distaste for silver. That's a werewolf, not a wolf. By Abraham's beard. Abraham can't grow a beard. Or rather, Abraham's not allowed to grow a beard. Navy regulations. What I need is a silver bullet! Oh, God. What could crafting- oh, ah! <sighs> What could crafting this possibly entail? What are these? What are these? You're so lucky I just saved stuff up for no reason. For no reason. You're so lucky I got that one piece of silver fox fur for no reason. Ooh! I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. You're so lucky. I've just been 
holding on to things endlessly. I knew I should have gotten the fireflies. I knew it. 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 Should have gotten the fireflies. Anyway, let me step away from him because he's been bothering me. <laughs> anyway. We're going to go ahead and end this stream here. It's been about an hour and three minutes. Thank you everyone so much for joining today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. In the meantime, please stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, eat, sleep, and drink well. Wear a mask, wash your hands, sneeze in your arm, don't be nasty. And remember to check out Tears of Dragon Awakening on iUniverse.com, small I, big U. Also on Barnes & Noble and Amazon. If you'd like to send copy, reach out to me on social media, Instagram or Twitter. And we shall see you in the next one. Celeste Lily.